I got out of high school. Um, you know, I was kind of looking for an opportunity, the thought of going to school and, you know, spending all the money for school, you know, it was daunting, especially when I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. And I found out about an associate degree program at Mercer County College um, called Energy Utility Technology. And, you know, you could get associates, you could do paid internships and get credit for them. And they give you um, career building skills, all that. And, you know, it was only an associate's degree. You know, it, it only took two years. Actually, um, I originally, when I left high school, I got involved in the horticulture field. Um, at the time, that's where my interests were. I had a lot of jobs in that field. Um, and, you know, I worked in that field after high school for a little while. And then I realized there didn't seem to be a lot of opportunities there. Um, with the economy, the field was not really the best to start out in. And um, so then I kind of, at that point, you know, started looking for something else, like an actual career to get into. And I heard about the program at Mercer County College, and it sounded like such a good opportunity that I just couldn't pass it up. I think uh, high school kids and college kids could really benefit from on-the-job experience. I know here at PSENG, they'll take uh, summer help, they'll take interns for the summer. You know, a high school student, a college student could easily do that. Um, and you get on-the-job experiences. You meet some of the people maybe you might work with one day. So it's, I think it's very important. I think I learned the most by doing that. And it also gave me a sense of confidence. Like, yes, I can do this job. I, I know I can do this. I, I know I want to do this. Some of um, the most important skills uh, in this line of work is being organized. I think that's number one. Um, problem solving skills is important. Uh, people skills helps also. You know, you're, you're coordinating work between a lot of different people, customers, government groups, uh, the DOT, you know, and it, it helps. Some of the characteristics um, that I think you would need to be able to do this job, um, you can't be afraid to get dirty. Um, you can't be afraid to voice your own opinion. Um, you know, you, you can be dealing with a lot of stress. You need to be able to cope with that. There's, you know, certain times where you have a lot going on and, you know, you might feel stressed and you kind of have to manage that. It's important. You start as an apprentice, which I am. Um, you'll be an apprentice for a few years. And that's basically the time where you learn how to do your job. After that, you're not an apprentice anymore. You're an engineering technician. Uh, you get your own jobs, you set your own schedule, and um, you know, from there, you can become a senior tech if you choose to stay in engineering. You could also go into management. You could get involved with safety. There's a lot of possibilities and a lot of uh, good options if you want to advance your career. Some things about engineering that you might not realize is that, you know, it's not all math. Um, you do a wide variety of things and sometimes you actually you'll go out in the field you'll take measurements you'll work, work with the crews you know you'll get dirty sometimes you have to go manholes you know and um, it's it's always changing you never do the same thing day to day and um, in a way it can be kind of exciting 